hi everybody how are you doing get me i'm all askew here <laughs> it's a physical representation of what my mind looks like <laughs> so welcome 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 it is our thursday night stamp and chat i'm very glad to be with you after missing you last week i'm so sorry i um i did have a nice time uh, if you read my post, I went to a live performance of My Fair Lady here in the big city of Boise. Yes, we have that. Can you believe it? And it was excellent. Oh, my gosh. One thing I always think about musicals, at least a good musical, is that, or a test of it, I guess, is if you totally, if you totally just escape into it for a couple of hours. And this was three hours. So there was a time, I'll be honest, there was a time when I was yawning a little bit. <laughs> I know. Oh, sorry. I even said Thursday. No, no, no. It's a special night this week because I have plans again tomorrow. So, um, I, but I was like, I have to come on because I, like, I miss my stampers. So yes. Hello everybody. And if you are just tuning in and you uh, didn't see the notification, uh, and it's Thursday night, then welcome. You can watch me just like I just came on. Well, I'm so glad to be here. Yes, My Fair Lady was excellent. And um, it was it was definitely a kind of artistic escape that is so fun. It's a sign of a good one. Uh, the sound was excellent. The costuming, of course, the singing and uh, choreography and all that stuff. So it was good. My friend, Katie, that I go see the musicals with, she too loved it. She said she likes it when they're singing and music, not just singing. So that was one of her her qualifiers to making it a good one, right? <laughs> okay. I need a sip of my tea in my beautiful cup. It's too hot, but I want it. A little, what am I having tonight? Green tea, of course, because it's too late for the black stuff. Green tea with pineapple, I think. Pineapple essence or something. Anyway, it's really good. Jean, I know. What is up with my social life? A social life. <laughs> but I'm social with you guys, usually. I just happen to be here. So, yes. Tomorrow night is a week before Thanksgiving. U.S. Thanksgiving. And uh, my mom always does a dinner, a Thanksgiving dinner, at her restaurant. And I haven't been for several years. And I haven't seen a friend of mine here in town for quite a while, too. And so I thought, well, now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I'm going to go pick her up tomorrow afternoon. And we are going to go over and have early Thanksgiving dinner. And I don't know if we'll see my mom or not. She might be in the thick of it. Uh, but we're going to go eat her food. So I'm so excited. And if you're in the neighborhood, I'm going to bring back a raspberry pie. Yeah. Her crust is like... A million different layers, but still pie crust, not a croissant. Okay, everybody, that's enough about the delicious food. Uh, it's it's coming your way. It's coming your way for most of you. Maybe you Canadians, you already had your Thanksgiving. You, you feel free to have another one. Australians, you like these crazy Americans. What are they doing? Um, feel free to celebrate with us uh, next Thursday. It'll be your Friday. Yeah. So Leslie and uh, Joan, you guys can celebrate us with us next Friday for you. And um, you can eat a bunch of starch and throw in some protein. And that's a Thanksgiving dinner, sugar at the end. <laughs> okay, everyone. Hello, and thank you for coming in to see me. You're sharing already. So Roz won our prize from last week. Even though I wasn't live, I did the drawing and um, Roz won the, I think it's called Forever Forest. It's a background stamp in the, in our mini catalog. It's very pretty. She wrote back that she received it, of course, and how wonderful it was. That's very Roz, isn't it? And I hope she's having a wonderful night. And I hope that you've had a little bit of time to play with it, Roz, maybe, but if not, it's there when you're there. I had a great time with my team last night. I had everybody except for one here, and that was really fun. No, that's not true. I mean, one of us was virtual. Alicia was virtual. Hello, Trish. And um, this person came, this this guy came along. It's not a person, right? 
this guy, he came along. He came with Trish. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Look under his beak here. And she brought this for a particular purpose. Some of you may have one. I don't know. I had never seen it before. You know how Jenny is always worried I'm going to step on my pins or that I am losing them. He is my pin holder. <gasps> Isn't he cute? I love him so much. Trish said she wanted to get me something that was still zoo-like. And um, I like this one. It's, it's kind of easy to grab, actually. So it's perfect, Trish. I love it. And um, so I don't have to worry about those pins anymore, but I can still use them in my ribbons. So we had a lot of fun last night, um, but I can't tell you about it because what happens at the meeting stays at the meeting, right? That's just private team stuff. Well, I'll tell you one thing we did. We did mystery stamping and it was so fun. I, it always reminds me like how fun that is, right? that I decided I was gonna do it with you guys tonight. So I hope you've all grabbed your supplies. If you have not, the list is small. So just look um, look at the, what do I wanna say? Look at the post that I posted. It's black and white, has a question mark on it, right? And get your supplies together, they're basic, and you can probably even work along with me. And I am going to use a beautiful new bundle. It's not a beautiful, it's super fun fizzy. It's effervescent. Can you guess what I'm going to use? That's right. I'm going to use the new online exclusive that's buried in my tub here. <clears throat> oh, I almost put it in my tea. Simply sparkling. Is that great or what? Some punny sayings, some sentiments you can uh, mix and match and put together. And um, I'm also going to be using the some of the coordinating dies. We will not have time to use them all tonight because look at all of them. Look at the fruit. What do we have there? Some kind of citrus. You can make it whatever you want. Strawberry, peach. Yeah, peach, lemon or lime, and cherries. Now, I was listening to Donna Gray last night, I think, and she was saying she wasn't really crazy about fruit on cards. And she said, she asked her people to comment and it sounded like they were commenting that they didn't really care for fruit on cards either. And she said, maybe it's just in different markets. And I have to say, I love fruit. I love fruit stamps. I mean, of course I love to eat fruit, but I love these fruit stamps. They're so cute. And they really, to me, this looks like pop art. And so we're going to try and play off of that. I'm certainly I am not skilled at um, making anything look like Andy Warhol. Don't expect that. All right. Bring your expectations down a little bit. But we're going to use brights and black and white for my card. And then I can't wait to see what you guys do for your mystery card. And I would love it if you would um, take a picture of it and hashtag the stamping zoo. And when you do that, then I can add it to the page. And everybody will ooh and ah over it. So after you make your mystery stamping card, be it tonight or some other time in the next few days. See, Kathy Sheely says she's always liked fruit and cards. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't even think about whether or not I did until Donna mentioned that. So, and this guy does. This is fun just for nothing else than just to have a random just a random goose walking by. Nothing to see here. So I had a great, great bazaar. It was really fun. Met a lot of fun people. Got some good contacts for upcoming classes. My friends came by. And of course, my friend Katie oh, and her daughter helped me set up and tear down. And I thought during the day, I, I told her, you know, go ahead, please get out of here. Go do your own thing. And um, I can... I can close up shop. And then as the day, she said, well, I'm going to come up anyway. And I go, oh, well, I'll, I'll just let you know. And then, um, it ended at three. So it was from 10 till three and it ended at three and at two, I, I think it was two 30. I, I texted her and I was like, I'd like to say I was going to do this by myself, but I think I'm going to need your help. She was already on her way. Excellent. Excellent friend. 
And then I basically took to my bed the next day, but it was super fun. You know, I had brunch with friends. So what did you guys do this weekend? Dear God, please tell me it's something good. I'm still sending out hugs and encouragement to so many of you that um, I hope you at least get a break if you're going through a, a trying time. Okay. All right. Well, here's your break. You know, I'm going to do the best I can. But guess what? I have a little treat for you. As well as mystery stamping, we are going to have an unboxing. There is right back there. So I, um, maybe some, well, hello, Nick. You raked the leaves. Good for you. Uh, so I participated in On Stage at Home, not during the day of, because that was November 11th, the day I went to the Holiday Bazaar. So I have been watching it over the course of the last couple of nights. And wow, did you guys attend it? Because as usual, it was a fantastic event. Um, I love the DJ at the beginning and the middle. He was really fun. Nick, you would like him too. He was actually spinning on. Um, he did a lot of remixes with the song Celebration. <laughs> I think you're familiar. So anyway, it was really fun. I found myself definitely a uh, chair dancing to that. And he was really fun. I hope he can come to a live event. Don't you think that would be fun? Yeah, I like that. Um, hello, everyone that's coming in. I love seeing you so much. And thank you for sharing. Don't forget to remind me, I'm going to give you a preview of what you could possibly win next week. Um, not a new car, but something fun. But I'm going to make a request of you, <laughs> a certain request. I'm going to hold the carrot out and we're going to see if you guys are going to go to the carrot. Okay. Even if you don't, I'll still have something great for you. <clears throat> okay. So why don't I point you down and we'll get started on this, uh, this card. I have no graphics for you today because I am still catching up. There's a bug in here. How's that possible? thought they died by now, although it has been beautiful here. If you guys don't know that, it's like it was 60 today, I think. I We've been driving with the windows down, not bragging, because I was thinking one day, some random day, is going to dump snow on us, and then we're going to be like, what? Is this possible? So anyway, hello, Marlene, and hello, Jenny. Very nice to see you ladies from a mild day in Wisconsin even. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's turn that over. No, nope. this is the cleaner side, I guess. <laughs> Have a little stack here. You're welcome, Corinne. I'm sorry I had to send it, but you're welcome. I was thinking of you and I'm still thinking of you, right? Okay, so if you are new here, welcome and hello. And if you are watching on replay, I see you out there. More people watch it on replay than live. Shocking. I can't believe it. But guess what? It's the very same thing. And uh, so if you are watching this in whatever form, thank you so much. You help support at the Stamping Zoo, which is my business of one. I am a paper crafter. I teach paper crafting. I sell beautiful products from Stampin' Up, a company that's been in business for 35 years because they have the highest quality, best materials. We love them. And right now they're having a seasonal sale through tomorrow, you can save up to 20% on inks, papers, and ribbons and trims from the annual catalog. There's a lot of product in there. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there you go. That's what I was uh, choking over. Sorry about that. Yes, I knew you loved it. I know your favorite song, Nick. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, anyway, please hit that sale. And if you would be so kind, if you're shopping with me in the United States, you can apply this code that you see on the screen right now. And that helps me to uh, bring you freebies that I bring every week. I bring freebies to classes that you attend with me. I do some free online classes. This is a free online class. And I do lots of free purchase incentives one of them is going on right now actually let me show you the product so part of being at the holiday bazaar was i worked ahead which is really great so i worked ahead for a couple of classes 
So if you place an order for $25 of product before shipping and tax with me using this code, uh, you will get the supplies to make one each of all these cool jumbo tags. And they feature, of course, the really cool sharing. Uh-oh, I just forgot the name. Somebody remind me. I sold a bunch of them to you guys last week. Sharing cheer? Sharing cheer. So all these really cool, uh, big um, Christmas-looking items come to life in these really cool tags. I will send you all the supplies. I do not stamp the items. And if these die cuts are provided in the sending cheer bundle, then I don't cut those out for you, but I do provide the papers, the sparkly papers, the cardstock. And then if it's not in the bundle, like this little banner tag, I cut that out for you. Okay. So it makes it really easy to put these together. FYI, uh, I've already sent two of them out. I don't have the tutorial for you yet. You probably got your kit, Jean. So if you did, Carla, um, just know that the tutorial is coming tomorrow, okay? It's it's just a written tutorial. They're very easy to put together, and you'll get some beautiful close-up photos. Okay, so are these fun or what? And they'd be very easy to just take a little bit of extra cardstock and put a pocket on the back and make them into really cool gift tag holders that you could then um, hang on a tree or hang on another gift, right? Put some cash on the back of these tags. So I do hope you, if you shop with me, that is going to be your little gift through the end of the month, okay? I'm also going to have a lot of Black Friday specials for you. I'm taking the day off from my day job and I'm gonna be with you on Friday. We're gonna be working with product. I'm gonna be giving you little freebie classes. We're gonna be doing check-ins. And of course, I'm gonna give you lots of specials so that you can do some shopping for lots of fun people in your life, okay? Now, FYI, I have a class coming up on Saturday. If you are local and you would like to take it, these are the cards, okay? We're gonna use lots of different product. And if you're just wondering, like, what does this lady do? These are examples of uh, cards that you may see in my class, okay? My stamp camp is a once-a-month once in-person event. Then I do four uh, all, all occasion cards. Two of them are Christmas this time because it is November after all, right? And uh, But I still threw a birthday in there. And another one just says, enjoy your special day. So it could be a lot of things. So if you would like to come to this class, it is not full yet. In fact, there are only a couple of ladies. So you have lots of room to spread out. And um, you can just go right onto the Stamping Zoo and register for this class. And that class is also free with purchase, free with a $25 purchase or more, but a minimum purchase of $25 gets you those four cards for free. And if you prefer, I don't know why you'd prefer this, but I will just charge you $20 if you can't find any product that you would like. Ginny, I am in Boise, Idaho. I don't think I said that. I'm coming to you live from a beautiful Boise, Idaho, where it was 60 degrees today. 60 degrees Fahrenheit for you Australians. <laughs> so it was great. Thank you for sharing, Jenny. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you guys right now, I have a special something for you that I am going to give away in the drawing next week. If you guys get to 28 shares, so I'm not going to make it 30, but we've been going down just a few things. So 28 shares, I'm going to give this away. Okay. It's not the bundle. It's the stamp set though. And then you can just add the dies if you want them or not. So for all of you that said you love fruit and love the Simply Sparkling, if you have not gotten this so for your this for yourself yet, you can win it in the random drawing next week. And how you win or how you win a chance to earn this stamp set is to take this video that you're watching, hopefully enjoying right now, share it to your social media sites. There's an arrow of some sort, a copy link. And do that back to your own social media pages. And then come back in and in the comments write shared. Don't just write shared. 
and don't just share it and then not not write shared. So do both, okay? And then if 28 of you do that, and I see that next week, this will be the prize. If it's 27 or less, it's still going to be something fun, but it's not going to be simply sparkling. So let's see who wants this. How bad do you want this beautiful stamp set? It's gorgeous. It could be going out to you in the mail next week. Okay. For U.S. residents only, I'm so sorry. But if you win the stamps, if you win the drawing and you live in another country, I will redraw, but I will also send you a card. So I love that all of you share. Uh, I know lots of Canadians and Australians share for me, and I love that so much. So appreciate it. I also have something else to show you. I got this beautiful gift. Uh, Anne Marie Heil is like this great demonstrator down in, I think, Austin. And she had sent me a message and said, something's coming your way. And I was like, what? Why? The packaging was extraordinaire. It was in this. Look at this cute paper. Tango licked this paper. I suspect it smelled like Gidget Louise and all of the other little critters that are at her house. Okay. And then it was in this package. It reminded me of that little scene in Love Actually when that man is buying, that bad man is buying earrings for a lady he likes, not his wife. And he's trying to hurry up the clerk. And the clerk, Rowan, I can't remember his name. I never can remember his name, but he's hilarious. And um, he keeps putting it, he's gift wrapping it. But it has like 20 different layers of gift wrapping, a sprinkling of potpourri. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, when I got to this gift, I thought, She's watched that movie and she, that's how she wraps things. <laughs> and so in this was, first of all, this perfect card from a past paper pumpkin, right? That coordinated and I love it so much. And then look at her writing. Doesn't it look like, it looks like it was typed with a cool font. I love to look at people's writing and not in a, not in a, what do I want to say? Not in a critical way. But just, I think it tells a lot about people. Okay, anyway. And then she sent me this. Oh, look at it. It's a notepad. Look at this guy. Is he not the cutest or she? And then, has my name on it. This is fancy. So fancy I might not use it. No, that's not true. I use all the stuff you guys sent me. Anyway, it was so nice. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie. I doubt you're watching me, but thank you. And um, actually, it was Anne-Marie's birthday yesterday. So luckily... I have a reason to send her some happy mail. Or you guys can jet on. She makes great things. So you guys can jet on over to her page and um, tell her happy belated birthday, okay? <laughs> Jenny, I hope so. Are you going to Houston? Yeah, I hope so. So yeah, uh, on stage virtual was the next best thing to being there, right? And um it was great. I've learned a lot of tips and tricks that hopefully I am going to add to my own uh, repertoire, as well as they were using all of the new product that is coming out in the January and the uh, new mini catalog in January. And that's a few months away. We still have a lot of stamping with lots of beautiful products that um, are available now, right? So as is the case with this Simply Sparking. Sparkling, this is a brand new stamp set. It just came out the 7th, the 6th. Anyway, it's brand new, brand new to me. I just started using it about 50 minutes ago. Yep, that's true. <laughs> okay, so no pressure. I also grabbed my Radiating Stitches dies. Why didn't I buy this sooner is what I wanna know. Uh, where'd I put them? As soon as I got them, I only got them a couple weeks ago. And then I was like, what, Lisa? So this is Radiating Stitches. It is an online only um, order. It was on low inventory when I ordered it. I hope it's back in. But in any case, uh, you've got three <coughs> kind of frame dies. A cool heart. It's just a good size and then two circles. So it's really fun. And so we're going to use a couple of those tonight. Okay, so let's talk about our mystery stamping supplies. Let's go
go through the inventory, shall we? I've got some extra pieces. I didn't finish making my element to go on the front because that's why you're here. We're going to do that together. <laughs> okay, now have to take your pick tool somewhere. That's all right. I have five more. It's okay. All right. Yes. So, so fun being here with you. So, so fun being with my team last night. I loved it. Okay, so this is a photopolymer stamp set, right? Like I said, it has lots of cool little elements to it. You kind of build the, do you call this soda or do you call this pop? I grew up calling it pop. And then Katie, my best friend, she started calling it soda because she was stationed in the Air Force and she went back east. And so then I started calling it soda. <laughs> okay, now I just vacillate. <laughs> Jean says soda. Okay. So uh, anyway, lots of bubbles. And there are two, uh, there's there's a cool set of bubbles in the die. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? I love them. I die cut these out of silver foil. That is an online only item, but it's still there. And, um, and what do I want to say about it? Oh, I put an adhesive sheet on it. Oh no, Leslie, Facebook doesn't play nice with you and it stops you from doing lives. No, oh, that's no fun. I, I wish I could, I wish I was there to at least help Sharon the frustration. <laughs> There's always so many different things. Okay, so then a beautiful set of photopolymer stamps, right? We're just going to start with a few. It has the straw. I love it. And then, of course, it has lots of coordinating or complementary dies. And this is the lid with the pop top. And, you know, the can, different pieces. Here's the straw. All the fruit, as I said. Here's some little greenery pieces for the cherries, I think mostly. But you could put it on the other fruit. Donna Gray, if you're watching, you need to change your mind about all this fruit. It's good stuff. And um, then here's one that cuts out the outline of this little image. So you can color these. You could emboss the bubbles. That would be really pretty. And um, hello, Cindy. Late, but it's all right. No one's ever late for my live. Okay. So your supplies are a piece of cardstock, a quarter sheet, four and a quarter by five and a half, a complementary piece, four by five and a quarter, a piece of designer series paper, five by six. Okay. Two, uh, these are a little larger, but it's okay. So I said, um, I think, believe I told you two by three, two, two by three um, shapes, either rectangles or something that was approximating the size. These actually are four, these are two and three quarters by four. So you can even go a little larger if you want. And you need two of them and they need to, you need to be able to shadow them behind each other. So I wouldn't really choose like the deckled circles. It's very random. <laughs> it's hard to get them. You know, you'll have to work a little bit harder. <coughs> Cindy has this set and hasn't even looked at it yet. Well, I'm only 50 minutes ahead of you, Cindy. So there you go. Thank you for sharing, by the way. Hello, Debbie Green. Jan, the dyes are fun. They're very fun. Okay, so first of all, we just have a little scoring to do. I asked you to get your scoring tools out. So on the five by six piece of designer series paper, all these papers are on sale, by the way. Don't forget about that. Card stocks, envelopes, basically anything that's paper is on sale. Ribbons and trims on sale. Inks, free inkers, stamp and blends, stamp and write markers not the huge bundle of stamp and write markers but all the little the little packages the color family packages on sale okay so take a look at those i in fact what i'm going to do is in one particular case i have you know the reds kind of get wonky sometimes and my poppy parade is at the wonky stage let me see if that's the one. Yeah, it's almost kind of 
hardened around the edges and it's just not taking the ink well anymore. And you can see it has like those bubbles, those like crystals that happen. I'm sure it's a, some chemistry thing that I didn't listen to very well. But in any case, I'm getting myself a new Poppy Parade ink pad. I'm treating myself and I'm going to look at the other ones just in case. Usually the reds, the dark purples, that happens too. It's, it seems to me it takes like a couple of years, but you know. Okay, so on the five by six piece. Uh, if it's directional, you want it to, you want the long edge to be the top, okay? And you're going to take this five by six piece, and on the six inch edge, the long edge, you're going to score it at two and a quarter. You can use your score pal, you can measure it with a pencil, and then use your bone folder. I, of course, I'm just using my paper trimmer because it has both the scoring and the cutting blade. So that's as easy as that. And then I am going to just fold that over and kind of uh, burnish that. Okay. And some of you, when we get done with this card, you will, you will recognize it because you've probably made it. But I think it's fun to make something where you don't quite know what the ending is. Right? Yes, Corinne, that, that happens and it's not uncommon. So um, there may be a fix for it, but really the ink pads aren't that much anyway. And now they're on sale. So maybe you need a new cherry cobbler ink pad. Okay, so let's attach, let's adhere, sorry, this second layer of the cardstock to the first. It looks like I'm making a Mickey Mouse card, doesn't it? Black, red, and white. Really, I was doing black and white card, and my pop is Sweet Sorbet. My pop of color, not my pop, soda pop. Sweet Sorbet, okay? Now, you also needed about 18 inches of ribbon. <clears throat> I'm using, what else? Black and white gingham, and I'm going to let my goose fold that. So easy. And um, let's see here. I am going to, you need a little bit, because you're going to wrap it. Uh, around quite a bit of the card and tie a bow. Okay, so uh, you'll probably use a little bit less than that, but then you need some extra or else you don't have enough to get your fingers around it. We all know that. <laughs> you have this on order. Excellent, Leslie. It's going to be so fun. I hope that you like this and then that'll be, that'll be one of the first things you can make, right? Okay, so now that, that one's falling. It's all right, no biggie. So now this is going to sit on top, okay, of the other two layers. But this ribbon is going to sit between those things, the DSP and the cardstock. Okay, that's how it's going to be. Normally, when I tie, one side's longer than the other. So for me, I'm not making these ends even, I'm making one a little bit longer. I don't know that I use one side or the other longer, if that makes sense. Um, and if I did, I'm left-handed, so most of you would just be confused anyway. So after you kind of just get that laid out, you can also place this um, anywhere here to here, okay? It doesn't have to be in the middle if that's not the game you wanna play. I am going to, I know I'm off screen. I needed some room. That's how many fun things I have sitting out here. I'm going to run three strips of my seal, this guy, down my the back of my designer series paper, okay? Uh, because I want to hold that ribbon. It needs a little extra. Oh, and here's a little, if you're not working on grid paper, maybe get some out because I want you to, uh, if you want your ribbon straight, which you do in this instance, then just put it on the grid paper, right? And make sure that it's lining up from side to side. And my ribbon has a little bit of a jog in the middle of it where it's not completely straight, totally fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this and there's a quarter of an inch around, just like with the first layer. And if I get close, that's good enough. Okay. 
and that's the base of our card. All right, and then you're gonna bring this over, and tie it over here. You're gonna make that sound too. Okay, hello, Kathy, thank you for joining. I'm so glad to see you live. Now what's going to happen is, oh, look at that. One of your die cut items or punch items is going to sit on the front and the other one is going to sit directly behind it. Well, that is going to be where an element is. So the way you're going to open this then is going to be, that's going to be there, let's say. And then this is going to sit right on top of it. And then we're going to tie it over here. Okay, so your element's going to be here. So think about that when you're placing your element. Um, we're kind of at the point where I can show you the card that I made last night. This is my mystery card from last night. So as you can see, I had my beautiful pecan pie ribbon on sale, by the way, through tomorrow. Uh, I had that come across the gingerbread man, but I didn't cut him off at the neck. And I didn't, you know, I'm really just, I still wanted to see the little hearts. And then when your recipient opens this, there is an immediate little scalloped area right behind it. And so these are the scalloped contour dies, very popular dies, along with sending cheer. The Skingham paper also on sale. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, everything is on sale except the stamp set. And that may be on sale in the future. Okay. So uh, that's how it's going to go. So as you are... Um, now I've, I've spilled the beans. That's what your card's going to look like, right? So now you can kind of work on getting that uh, in order, making the base of this card. And I'm going to move on <coughs> to working on my soda can. So let me put this off to the side so I don't ruin it. I also want you to know that this paper came from the 22 to 24 in color, 6 by 6 designer series paper. I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's also in the annual catalog. So you can get paper packs like this at a discount. If you are a demonstrator, you get that discount on top of your demonstrator discount. Okay. Starting to sound good, isn't it? Now things are, you know, up to 35, 40% off. That's pretty good. And if you're not a demonstrator, please think about it. It simply means that you can buy your own products at a discount all the time. And uh, you could be your own customer if you want, or you can come online and do weird stuff like I do. What about that? <laughs> hey, Colleen says, grid paper is also on sale. That is a great uh, point. She said it's her first time ordering grid paper. Well, you're going to be, it's a must have after you order it for a while. And <laughs> so, oh, she likes the card so far. Thank you, Marlene. I appreciate that. And uh, that's why it's all recorded. It's here for whenever you guys want to watch it. Okay, so, soda can. I have, I stamped it out once here just to play with it. So this is what I'm thinking. And then we're going to have a sentiment run across it. I'm going to use the, you're so delightful. Whoops. You're so delightful. You can't read that. It's okay. It's this one. And then on the inside, I think I'm going to put Biztastic Friend. <laughs> I can guarantee whatever friend I send this to, they've never gotten a card that says that, right? So let's go forth. I'm going to restamp this. You can see it is, it's a photopolymer. So I want you to be able to um, get a really nice crisp image on it. And I am just using, I think, I'm just using Memento. <clears throat> and sweet sorbet. Okay, so I do the I do the combo squishing and tapping. And I really shouldn't be doing it like that, but I need to see this image because the first few times you use a photopolymer stamp, it wants to resist the ink. So, oh, you're on the fence with it. We'll see what we can do about that, Kathleen. And then just give it a nice, firm, even pressure. I am using the paper piercing mat underneath it. And look at that. It already looks kind of 3D. It's very fun. And then I took 
this kind of swishy thing. Looks like it be it could be a trademarked design, but it's not because that would be crazy. And I stamped it off because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted it to be the, the focal point. And then I realized, no, I didn't want it to be the focal point. I just wanted it to be back behind the sentiment. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and now that I did that, I'm thinking that I did like, I started coloring with the blends. I just colored a little bit on the bottom. And I do believe there is there's a dye. There's this one. That's not, that's not it. That, that goes on the can, but I'm not quite sure where. But it's all right. We're going to color. I started out, and this is not like, this is not difficult. I started out with a little bit of dark because a can is rounded, right? So around the curves, it's dark. And underneath this, this particular can has kind of a lip. And so underneath that lip, it's going to be dark too. And then I'm going to bring in the light. And I left the tiniest white spot in the middle to kind of show that's reflection. And then I'm going to come in again because I think I need some more dark. And you can barely. I was almost off screen. It was nice. And then to kind of finish that center, <coughs> I'm going to bring in our color lifter. It's a thing. It's a thing. I'm going to kind of pull that color towards here. And uh, if I don't like it, if it looks too light, I'm going to give it a second or two. Then I'm going to color over it if I don't like it. And the color lifter still kind of works to lighten up that area, right? So I decided, nope, I need a little more. Just the tiniest bit. And then I will also come in again. I don't want to wash it all out completely. But anyway, that'll give it a little sense that there's a reflection right there. Okay, it's beautiful. Now we can also, we can color the top. You can color the whole thing if you want. But there's a really cool dye in here that is the top. And even the flip top. And I was wearing that when I just went to heat up my tea. So we'll have to make sure it's sticky. But these two I cut out with uh, adhesive as well. This is uh, the two pieces. Or actually it's three piece, three pieces, I think. Yes, it is three pieces. Okay, this is the top. Uh, you could, I saw that somebody used that holographic silver paper and that looked really good. I just, I didn't have it. So silver's good enough for me. Yeah. Oh, hello, Leslie. Great minds think alike. Yes, it looked uh, very convincing, didn't it? Okay. So uh, again, I put a little adhesive sheet on this. It shows you exactly Oh, you know what? I'm going to die cut this first. I'm getting way ahead of this thing. Getting so excited about putting that top on. Okay. So let's do this. And just for a little insurance. See, look, there's a pin right there. Becky, please. Sorry. I think it's a goose. I called it Ducky, but it might end up being called Ducky. It probably needs a name, actually. And if you guys help me out with that, that would be excellent. What should we name this character? Who holds my pins? <laughs> oh, Kathleen, my goodness. You are such, you put in a full day, sister. Most days, don't you? Kathleen says, enjoy everyone. Don't forget to share. We got to get those 28 shares. I think you're going to do it really easily, but not too easily. It was, it's more just like a friendly reminder. Please share me. <laughs> okay, over to the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Not on sale, but a must have. Oh, it's a must have. And maybe if you don't know anything about die cutting and whether or not you're gonna like it, maybe you just wanna buy the mini first. Yeah. Oh, was Patty Bennett? Thank you. Yes, I'm sure it was. She did a lot of, uh, she did a lot of, there were a lot of photos I saw on hers. Yeah. 
well, Patty Bennett does it, then we better do it. Because she is the master, the mistress of stamping. Okay, now I can go forth and get crazy with all this stuff. All right, this guy, it's like flat here and then rounded on the top, just like the stamp. Let me get my tweezers. Tweezers. These are out of the embossing essentials kit. The embossing kit. And they are essential. So this is going to cover up the pop top, right? But that's okay because we are coming in with our foil one. Okay. And then, oh, brother. You know what this is? This is the bottom. Well, we'll have to decide. I think I still want it colored. I did all that shading and stuff. I gotta like appreciate that. Now this thing is gonna go, the flat part goes right where it's flat. That helps me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it kind of like this. I guess you could put it on the tiniest bit of dimensional too if you wanted to make it look like you kind of popped it and left it up but look how cute <laughs> i love it it's so fun so again this is the bottom that you can put on there and um which also looks good yeah and you could cut this out of different designer series papers and i mean white is the most basic right okay my glasses are killing my nose if you're wondering like what in the world she's doing they're making me so mad they're either they hurt this side of my nose or now currently they're hurting this side and I love the glasses but I just can't get them tweaked just right yes everyone's sharing yay we can do it all right where's that card where's that beautiful card I was making Back to our mystery stamping. <coughs> oh my gosh. It is a mystery. So inside it's going to say your fizztastic friend or whatever that point, that one thing was. I'm going to take this one that has the, um, it has some little tiny mark there. And I'll make sure that my pop is over that. And then remember, you just want to kind of, there's some play between where you can put this, right? But where I don't want to put this ribbon right over where I'm going to have that long sentiment. And I wish I would have done this in another color. Because now I'm thinking, yeah, we need to do that in sweet sorbet, don't you think? Because then the pop, soda, whatever, will pop off of the page. Oh my gosh, I have no scraps. I guess that occasionally does happen. Happy great sweet sorbet. Here we go. Too much. Okay, so I am going to get two of those radiating stitches or rectangles out. Did I use the large one? I almost wonder, do I want the little one? No, I think I want the large one. Okay. Pop that into the uh, cut and emboss machine. Whoops. And this is going to be super cute. So, friends, uh, next Thursday is going to be rescheduled as well because it's Thanksgiving. But as I said, I'm going to make it up to you because. I'm going to be live several times with you on Friday, okay? So do not fear. You will get your dose of the Stamping Zoo, maybe more than you want. But be sure to tune in with me because I'm going to be running specials, um, some special packaging that I've put together. Of course, specials on products from our beautiful Stamping Up. And um, also, if you really want to make sure 
jump on over to the Stamping Zoo right now if you haven't already done this. And uh, there's a pop-up box that will say, get all the news or something like that. Get the news because that's my newsletter. And then you won't miss anything. Okay. I don't want you to miss anything. Much better. Okay. It's a good thing I didn't glue that down like I immediately do sometimes. Much, much better. And I was thinking we could run this off to the side. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. And then I cut out some of the cherries and I did, I did it a couple of ways, but I ended up thinking that sweet sorbet with what else? Cherry cobbler looks really fun on the top. Now these are different dyes that I'll show you the stamped version of the cherries versus these cherries. Aren't those fun? We're probably going to do them that way right now, but there's also a uh, greenery that you can stack on top of that. It's right. It's this, it's this one right here. I'll probably just cut it out for you. Why wouldn't I? And, um, <coughs> anyway, this is the dye that I used, the dye combination that I used, but then you have a stamp of cherries as well right here. And this is 100%. So I think, let me see, I'm, this is hard for me to visualize. Yes, this cuts this out. You could stamp it, and then you could put this little contour piece in if you wanted. Um, that would be really, that would look nice too. So you have options. You have options, people. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this one and cut out just a couple. Um, of stems in therapy party because I think it's a fun combo. We are kind of we're pulling in a couple of those in colors that came in together and they really just were happy little friends from the get-go. These should be on a piece of sheet, but they're not going to be because I like to challenge myself, right? So we will see how difficult these are, but I think we're going to figure it out just fine. Okay. And it's this one. But the other leaves go with the other fruit. That's a stem and a leaf, right? Okay, so this is going to look like this. And then this is going to go there. Oh, are you in love with this? Look at how cute this is. All right. I'm loving it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to cut out a couple more. It's detailed, I know, but these details are going to be, you know, this is for a fizz-tastic friend. I can't just give them any old thing. And you know I love these die-cut details. They are so fun. Okay, I'm going to make some more for later. All right, so yes, this is currently available. You will not find it in the catalog. It's just one of the ever-growing list of online exclusives that we have. And if you want to know, well, where do I find the online exclusive? Just head on over to the Stamping Zoo, okay? Or look for the link in the description of this video. And then hit the Shop Now tab. And go down the left-hand side of the Stampin' Up! page. And you will find a line that's just for online exclusives. That's where all the kits are, except for paper pumpkin kits. And then all of these fun things that Stampin' Up! has been bringing us periodically are there as well. Okay, I think we're gonna be very happy that we took the time to cut these out. We still have an unboxing to come. Not, it's not huge. Did a couple of sweets, you know, I. it's very nice. Don't. Don't get me wrong. I got a lot of products, but I don't, we're not going to be focusing on those products right now. So there was no need for me to get every single thing. I can do that later. <laughs> it's shaping up, isn't it, Lori? Oh my gosh, it's shaping up. Okay, so let's get the main design here. Um, of course, this needs to be up on dimensionals. Why wouldn't it? Let's get that part started. 
get a party started. Yes, I did like that DJ. DJ Biggie Beats or something like that. I don't remember his name. He was a cute little guy, though. Um, yeah. And I had to admire him because he was really playing to no one, right? But, um, you know, he was, like, still trying to engage. I was like, good for him. That's cool. <clears throat> and the lighting and the graphics were great. Sounds like the Morrison Center. Sounds like when I went to the musical, doesn't it? The graphics were great for our um, on stage and all the videography was first class. Now this paper helps me put this put this down straight, which is very nice. And um, so that's helpful. Okay, I did this again. It's easier if you put the back one down first but if you don't, like I did, don't worry about it because here's what you do. Take the back side of this, like you're going to put this down. I did that last night too, and I was thinking, don't do it again. Well, <laughs> I thought it was such a good tip. I did it again. Okay, so I'm taking this, but I'm putting it face down over the front, over the one that's on the front. Okay, so you've got to kind of... Hold it both sides so your DSP doesn't flip up. And then you take the back and fold it over and then adhere it. And then you've still got the same. Okay. Uh, oh, the only thing is, I put that down there without stamping on it. Dear Lord, that is scary. Okay, and bye-bye, weirdo. Um, just a weirdo user, not you guys. <laughs> okay, so let me take a look. I better do a preview of this. My goodness, because I haven't used this stamp before. Looks perfect, friend. It's so little. And then fizz -tastic. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, you're going to love it. When you actually see it on the card, I'll just put it mostly in the middle. Sorry, I hit that with my uh, the bill of my hat. Okay, don't do just don't do anything I'm doing tonight. Okay, you're supposed to stamp before you stick. I know this. Okay, I need to bring this closer to me. I'm catching a lot of glare. Super fun. Fantastic friend. You're a fantastic friend. <laughs> so cute. Okay, now let me get back to all this excitement I was doing. And I want these bubbles. So I think I'm going to put the, yeah, I'm going to put it like that. Okay. No, I like it this way. So I did, uh, if you're coming in middle way. I did put, thank you for sharing, and thank you for saying this is pretty. Lori, my craft show was great. It's a lot of work for, for an old crafter like me, but it was really fun, and I did, I think, did very well. I don't have to gift um, all my little projects to every person I know, I but I do have some leftovers, which is kind of nice. I have my office gifts made and a few friend gifts and things like that. So kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this over here. This is pretty. I'm really liking this. And then see our really cool ribbons gonna come over there. And then we need our your so delightful tag here. And I'm probably gonna do that on sweet sorbet as well. Uh, I'd like to emboss it on black, but we're not doing that tonight. That is over and above, Lisa. These girls can't be waiting for you forever. Okay. I do a really thin strip. Okay, but I'll put it in black. How about that? It'll help it to stand out a little more. Let's try that. 
You're so delightful. I think I got it kind of off. Let's check it out. Mm, the L went kind of weird. Let's try it again. It was the first time I used the stamp, so let me kind of squish it. And hopefully it'll hold on to the ink more evenly. Oh, that L. I must be peeling out on that thing. <coughs> okay. Let's try that. A little lighter. That's pretty good. That looks good. Okay. So we have that worked out. And of course, I need a little trimmy trim on the bias. How else would you do it? No, on the bias, always. And that's going to go up here, right? We just don't want to make it where our bow is. It could be right here. I don't like it right there. And I am just going to glue this one down. See? You never know what's underneath a masterpiece. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Who would ever think you want to make a soda card until you do? And then you do. If you know, you know, right? I'm going to hashtag this with that. And we all know because we've been watching. So very late. Totally fine, Sherry. I'm still going strong. We only made one card tonight, <laughs> but it's a fun one. Yes, we are working with these simply sparkling online exclusive. So now I'm going to take a couple of these <clears throat> cherry cobbler cherries. What else? And um, that thing is, that's one of those that I run to death, right? Oh, thanks, Cindy. You are like so agreeable i want you in my life every day everybody needs a cindy and i'm so glad that we have one here i've kind of done this backwards but i want the i want to put this down first because i'm not going to glue those stems don't be like me use adhesive sheet okay that's why you're here watching me so you can learn from my mistakes but if you do forget to use adhesive sheet just glue the leaf part down and then bring these in. And also they should be on adhesive sheet, but they're not. And um, then we're going to put these over the stem part. So right where this little indentation, there's actually a tiny die cut there. And we are just going to line that up with the stems. That's where, that's how you know where those things go. Oh my gosh. I want to eat it. It's so cute. Look at that. It's very pop art looking to me. So parakeet party, cherry cobbler, and then sweet sorbet in the background. I'm in love with it. It's so cute. I don't even know if we're going to put it on the front, but we're going to make another one because that was quite fun. Okay. Whoops. Look, I did it again. Same thing. Okay. So no adhesive sheet this time, but that's okay. Just use a little bit of glue. See, I'm even going to dab it off. Like I got too much on there. And um, bring it in and it gets lined up right inside the outline. This, this, these dies are so perfect that those stems just lay down right where they're supposed to. You don't even have to work at that. These tiny little images. And then this, if I can do this, the last thing at night, after I've been working on spreadsheets all day, it's a, it means that it's a game changer. It's a good one. Okay. And then you line up those little cash marks with the stems and that's what your cherry looks like. Super easy. Okay. I think I am going to end up putting that. I'm going to put one inside. I know that. So this is not going to be a card where you write a bunch of stuff. It's kind of just a funny card, right? Hello, Jill, and thank you for sharing. I am going to give away 
a copy, not this one, but a fresh one, the Simply Sparkling stamp set next week if we get 28 shares. So it's very doable. We've reached it before. I just want to remind you that um, that's what we want. Okay. So you can do it. And if you don't reach it, I'll still give away something fun, but it won't be the Simply Sparkling. So just giving you a heads up. Okay. I think, I kind of think it's too much, you guys. You guys can decide. And if you want those cherries on the front, then let me know. I almost like, it seems like the can needs something more, but I'm just not thinking about it right now. What I could do though, to make, to take away that blank spot is I'm just going to tie the ribbon right there. Mystery solved. That's what it needed. Okay. This ribbon also on sale. <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay. It is, um, in the annual catalog, this is a black and white. We have a similar one, a little bit whiter, black and vanilla in the holiday catalog. But get this, it never goes out of style. Kind of like Taylor Swift, never goes out of style, right? Well, we don't know that yet, but she's doing good so far. I tell you what, I love the kid. She makes me happy. I love her songs. Okay. Like you, when you come here, you never know what you're going to get like a box of chocolates around here. Sometimes you're going to get my commentary on music, the fine arts, whatever you want. And then I am going to take one of these cherries because they're just so cute. Oh, good, Jill. Jill's working on chopped, everybody. I've been loving your chopped entries. Your chopped entries are due next week on the 24th, which I think is Thanksgiving. So please keep that in mind. Okay, get those to me early if you are not wanting to work on it on Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and um, please use a little bit of everything, at least a little bit of everything in the kit. And turn your envelope upside down because um, someone on here, I'm not going to mention her name, had to dig her ribbon out of the trash and it was under an old cucumber. But she did it. <laughs> we had a good laugh about that one. I won't tell you what it was, but the ribbon resembled the envelope. And so make sure you have said ribbon and said cardstock. Okay, we still have extras left. Yes, this hides it a little bit, but once you open it, then it's really cool. And finally, of course, oh. I need a little sparkle. So we have what else? Coordinating dots. Now think about how many colors you could do this card in. And um, you totally know what you're doing, Deborah. You totally know what you're doing. Um, so, yeah, think about all the cool variations you could make on this card. You could use all, all colors, right? And especially if you lean into this black and white gingham ribbon. Let's see, I'm going to put this right there. Um, if you lean into this black and white gingham ribbon, it goes with everything, except for maybe vanilla. Uh, but if you like it, do it. Okay. That's our mystery stamping. Quite something if I do say so myself. And then of course your recipient's going to untie it and be like, what is this thing? This is quite something. And then what? Fantastic friend. And then it's not even finished because on the back, then they get that really bright little pop. Oh, thank you, Lori. I'm glad you like it. Colleen says, her daughter gave her a Christmas gift list, very expensive Taylor Swift merchandise because she needs it. Mom, come on. <laughs> well, I hope, Colleen, I hope you can work that to your advantage and get, you know, um, get an excellent attitude and a helpful, friendly daughter <laughs> for the next month. <laughs> she needs it, Mom. Come on. She's got to have it. This Taylor Swift thing. At least she didn't ask you to take her to the concert. They're in South America now, so travel alone. Okay, my bow looked better before. There we go. Oh, so delightful. I know who I'm going to send this to. It's in the gallery. Okay. Uh, all right, then. That is super fun. 
again, added the radiating stitches dies. I think they are kind of playful as well. And so they went, of course, with a soda card. Who doesn't need Simply Sparkling? It's a bundle when you purchase uh, both the dies and the stamp set at the same time. The price is 10% cheaper than if you purchase them together. All right. So don't be like me so many years ago. I would think, oh, I only need the dies or, oh, I only need the stamp set. And then guess what? You don't. She needs it. Kind of like Colleen's daughter needs the Taylor Swift stuff. You need it. So just get it and save yourself 10%. All right, everyone, let's bring in this unboxing that I've been talking so much about. Now, please, if you're coming in in the middle of this video, please take a look at the beginning. I was talking about uh, upcoming classes that I have here in Boise. I also talked about the online special that I'm running currently through the end of the month. A beautiful jumbo tags kit sent to your door, and it features uh, stamps and die cuts from the Sending Cheer bundle, which we used live last week. Okay, I'm gathering up some of these die cuts that I know I'm going to want to use. I loved the parakeet party with um, with the black and um, and the sweet sorbet. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's all clean. If only. If only, friends. Whoops. Those got to get over there. <laughs> all right. This is a real unboxing because I haven't looked in here. This was not in here. This is just a little reminder that, as always, I will be giving away some product next week. And if you share this video to your social media sites and then come back and write shared in the comments, uh, you will be entered into the drawing. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I was telling Colleen that hopefully she could get a helpful child for the next month. But Colleen tells me she's 30. Okay, well, maybe she can run some of your errands, Colleen, or something. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't she be 30? I am 54, and I love the girl. So she transcends generations. Okay, back to this. I'm giving this away next week. If we reach a minimum of 28 shares, okay, blow me out of the water. Just blow me out of the water with the numbers. It'll be so fun. And you help the stamping zoo. By simply sharing and it costs nothing and so I really appreciate that whether it's one or 28 or 58 I appreciate all of you taking the time to do that you can do that whether you are on Facebook or YouTube or probably even Instagram okay this is a real unboxing and I'm gonna try and make it not too um, disorganized okay this was free to us this is this all of these products are going to be uh, live to customers, I think it's January 5th, okay? Live to demonstrators, December 5th. <clears throat> live to anyone wanting to place a starter kit order, December 5th, okay? So if you are looking at these things and you're thinking, I must have them, uh, you can add these to your starter kit. If you sign up to be on the Stamping Zoo, Zoo Crew, that's my team name, uh, anytime in December. Well, after the fifth. Okay. So with that, this was free, uh, to everyone that attended on stage. I don't know if we all got the same one or if we had separate ones, but this is what was in my shopping cart. So I got this one. This is going to challenge me because I'm not especially good at these types of stamp sets. And so I was actually glad that I got it. Okay. So it's various like two-step stampings, but you have to build the plants, the planted paradise. And I do believe that it is a stamp set only uh, in the catalog. I don't think there are dies or anything with it. So it looks really fun. Looks slightly intimidating, but I'm going to try to not be scared. Don't be scared. It's just supplies. Okay. Oh my gosh. This sweet is gorgeous. Hot air balloon. We had a hot air balloon. <laughs> Oh, okay. Cindy says we all got the same stamp set. Okay. Well, I'm going to see a lot of things with that planted paradise then. So this is part of a sweet hot air balloon. We, ha we have had a hot air balloon before, but it was more basic and it was fine. It had a punch, but this one's a whole suite and I was in love. 
with the colors, with the concept. I mean, I couldn't love it more. And so I got it. All right, let's see. That's perennial postage. Here's hot air balloon ride. And I believe that's it. We? Yeah, I think so. So let's take a quick look see on this business. Uh, beautiful. Look at this. We were going to play on the subtles, it looks like. Look at this baker's twine. Oh, yeah. And it looks like just thin, real baker's twine. So I like to take this and um, make bows out of it with two lengths because I'm extra that way. Look at these. This looks like candy. Rainbow adhesive backed dots. They sure are. This is part of this suite. So we can order two when you are a demonstrator if you're placing a pre-order, which let me let me clarify. This pre-order at this time is not available to everyone. It's available to you if you attended, registered for and attended the on stage virtual event. But don't worry, your time is coming, okay, December 5th. So anyway, let me try and show you these. They have a, they're like between shiny and matte, right? Kind of matte feel. Self-adhesive, of course, and just gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Two more colors in there. I want to lick this. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like those candy dot things. Okay. Beautiful, stunning. So glad I bought two because I definitely will probably be using these um, for marketing the new catalog to my customers so they can touch and feel and see all these cool things. Okay, so those are the em embellishments that go with this, the twine and the, um, and the dots. And then of course it has a beautiful pack of paper and then if you can see here, this is photopolymer also, and it has a bit of two-step stamping. Okay, so you can stamp these stripes and then come in with this one and stamp different colors. You can take this and put it into the middle of this. Um, it kind of looks like this and this go together. And then, of course, we have hang in there, wish big, up, up, and away, hooray, it's your birthday. And just a note to lift you up. I love that. We need this encouragement set right now. I need to break it out and start using it. Yeah, exactly, Jenny. It looks like the candy dots. A demonstrator made those one time. We had we had some ombre dots that looked like candy as well. And when I went to on stage in Los Angeles, it was just last year. She made a she made a strip with candy dots. Okay, but she cut them down and put a label on them so they looked like our embellishments crazy. That's why you want to go to on stage. Okay, everyone, because of the genius of your fellow demonstrators and the fun that you can share with them. Okay, so then, wow, like all of these pieces either coordinate or complement. Look at this one. Right away, this stands out. There's a beautiful heart with a heart inset, just like the balloon. There's two baskets that fit either the large or small. I always love a pennant die. And um, this looks like just different scalloped pieces that fit. And have even a couple of little clouds. So this is going to be really fun. Like, I want to make some time to play with this right now. I just didn't need to sleep. Darn it. Sleep. Ah, why are you essential? It's so fun, though. Okay, and then here's the beautiful paper. Six by six. Lighter than air. Of course, I'm going to open it. I'm not going to torture you. And we'll take a quick look. I do have other products. So um, we'll take a quick look here. But again, leaning in on the subtles, it looks like Balmy Blue, Lost Lagoon. Oh, look at that. We know. So, oh, you get eight of each design. That's fun for making swaps and making multiples. Look at this dot. Look at this random polka dot. You could probably die cut those clouds. I don't know why you would because they're white, but if you wanted to, you could. And then a beautiful lemon lolly stripe with a bubble bath on the backside. Wow. This looks like fresh freesia. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fun. Isn't that fun? 
I love it. Oh, Jenny says she's not going to sleep when she gets her box. She's going to craft her heart away. <coughs> well, I love that. I can't wait to see what you make. Okay, this I'm dying for right there. It's so beautiful. The paper is yummy. It's delicious. Here's like netting that harkens back to the uh, balloon. Oh my gosh, that paper. It couldn't be any prettier. I'm so glad I got two. Okay, that is the hot air balloon suite. It might be called Up, Up, and Away, but you'll know it. You'll know it. By the time we get there, I will have all the deets for you, okay? You just hang in, hang out with me, and I will help you out. Okay, besides the annual catalog going live, Celebration will be going live. Celebration is Stampin' Up's free with purchase offer that they are doing. January and February. Couldn't get any better. Oh, you know I love purple. I'm a purple girl. But oddly enough, I'm not a lavender person, but this is called... Oh, I'm showing everything. My goodness. Doggone friendly. It's not shocking that I got that, right? It's a huge background stamp. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love its line art. This is going to be great. Embossed, colored. I did not. Jenny said, did you know the hot air balloon part is called an envelope? I don't think I did. Well, that fits in with our crafting, doesn't it? Okay, this is adorable. This is like one big stamp, right? So that's going to be really fun to use with other techniques and things like that. Okay. Painted lavender does not go with the tool. That doesn't go with the tool paper. Sorry. It goes with this paper. Look at that. Oh, dear Lord. I'm going to have such a cleanup tomorrow before I start work, but that's okay. I get up early. That's all right. So this paper speaks to me so much, but a little known fact about me is that the smell of lavender is one of my migraine triggers. So people sometimes think it's a great idea to give me lavender, which is very kind, but I have to put it in the garage until I can give it away to a friend who actually likes it. That's right. Lavender soap, lavender anything. Lavender, it's got to go. <laughs> Jenny says it's her asthma trigger. But you know what? It doesn't mean I can't enjoy it this way. Okay. So, of course, beautiful 12 by 12 paper. Stunning for your memory keeping. Look at this. It's, it's very textural looking. Or your card making. You chop this up. It's going to make six beautiful card fronts out of each sheet of paper. 72 card fronts you can get out of a pack of this paper. Look at this. I think that's yarrow. Uh, I believe it stinks to me. Is this, I'm giving you too much. Yarrow stinks. I don't have that in my yard either. But it doesn't mean I don't like it on the paper. <laughs> okay, Jenny, you don't like flowers at all? Okay, well, I'm glad there are thousands of others I like. And then this is going to be a great background to play off of all of those purples. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. And these little butterflies are just sprinkled throughout the paper. And then that's a cool gingham stripe. And we've got all this crumb cake playing off of our beautiful purples and the green. What's the green? I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, my goodness. And then this all over print. Oh, here's another one. This is good. Oh, this is nice. Again, laying die cuts, etc., that are purple on top of that are going to be stunning. What are the greens? Oh, we have a lot of colors, you guys. Berry Burst, Blackberry Bis, Bliss, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape Pile and Heather, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and Starry Sky. I don't even remember seeing Starry Sky. So those are just a few ideas that you could coordinate with this paper. And then this is part of a super suite. I call it that because it has two stamp sets and two 
sets of dies in this case. Perennial postage and perennial postage dies. Painted lavender and painted lavender dies. Self-adhesive, purple fine shimmer gems, gorgeous, a few different colors. And these are really cool paper butterfly accents. They are white, uh, cardstock finish. So you will be able to do all sorts of ink techniques on these or dip them in Versamark and emboss them, all that kind of stuff. Okay, won't that be fun? <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited. All right, so let's take a look here. This is, of course, the beautiful Painted Lavender stamp set. Perfect. I've, I saw it used in on stage. You won't be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. And then it has, as well, mostly some open dies that cut out the images, even the butterflies. And then we've got a couple of coordinating pieces in here that are going to be perfect. For really, I want to say like the summer, but no, anytime, anytime. So yeah, okay. Well, a lot of you, I have the same problem with lavender. It sounds great in theory. Somebody gave me an eye patch thing one time, you know, like an eye for your eyes. And I did try it and then I regretted that. <laughs> it was like, why did I do that? But um, it looked so comforting. <laughs> okay, perennial postage dies. Are you ready to have your socks knocked off? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the demonstrator using this and on stage did this phenomenal kind of um, ink blocking technique. I'm going to do it for you. Not right this minute. And then look at all of these. My gosh, how, are, how many are there? Twelve. So there's nine of these postage stamp looking dies. Imagine weaving Baker's twine around these and tying it. And of course, this die set is going to be just like nested essentials or stylish shapes where you're just going to be able to use it with everything, right? You do need them. Yep. Lori needs them. Smart. Oh, the paper pumpkin kit coming up to go with this lavender set. That sounds good. Okay, and then this is cling, red rubber. You know, it's my fave. It's probably cling because of all of these really cool, fine lined words. Look at all that. Ten. This is a must have right here. And if you're going to get this, you may as well get the rest of it because it all coordinates. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so perennial postage. Look at all of this. I can't really, I need to use some of these sentiments like this week on cards that I want to send out. I know you'll get through this. Here for you always. You are loved beyond measure. You're simply marvelous. Big hugs. A very nice Happy Mother's Day stamp, which I think we were down to just a few. So I'm very nice to have that. I can't thank you enough. You mean the world to me. Perfect. Okay, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this product. And, oh, I know what else I have. I have a bunch of celebration items. So, as I was saying before I interrupted myself, not only do we kick off a new catalog in January, but you have the opportunity to earn free product with every $50 you spend. That's U.S. It's different in the other countries, right? But um, I have some of the products here in the form of paper. There's several packs of paper, and there's lots of items that coordinate with existing items or items in the new catalog. Okay, case in point, this, the watercolor melon, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily appeal to me right now. But I think when I use it, because it's distinctive, I'm going to love it. But kicker for me was this coordinates with the modern oval punch, which I think we used during creativity. Now it is available right now. It is going to carry over into the, um, mini, but you can buy the modern oval punch. I was wondering if it was sitting around here. It's not somebody cleaned up. So anyway, this is free with a $50 purchase. Okay. And for every $50 purchase, you get to choose something. So it's not just one thing. It's for every $50, every order, 
in January and February. Okay. This one's called softly stippled and stippling is a technique where it's basically this little, most of you probably know this, but it's little points. Um, it reminds me of pointillism if you've heard of that, but it's little points of ink placed down on your paper to create a design. This also coordinates with more product that is available in the um, annual catalog, a stamp set, dies, all the good stuff. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I don't know why I thought I was going to get away with leaving that in the package. Why would I bother? She says she loves that. I think you're talking about the watermelon, huh? I bet you can do some fun stuff with that. Look at this. Well, I may have just talked myself into getting this bundle. <laughs> Shocker. Oh, wow. I think this might be wild wheat, actually. But look how that plays off of the lights. It's gorgeous. This reminds me of something we had before. It wasn't stippled, though. So that's pretty. It was in a pack of just black and white paper. This is really cool. <coughs> that stippling gives it a soft definition that's you know different than the line art very cool wow this paper is like yes yeah, sorry colleen the new mini yes not the annual catalog and then more i love these kind of backgrounds they go because you can really make your images if you want to make little detailed images they really pop off of the more subtle background papers <laughs> jill there's more. Um, this is a tool set of designer series paper that goes with a tool bundle in the catalog. It's very cool. The die cuts cut out some of these images. And this is called Trusty Toolbox. And it's going to be very fun. I'm probably going to get it. Shocking. So some grid paper. Screwdrivers over and over again. Even screwdrivers can be art. Right? Oh, this is cool. Some hammers. <laughs> Nets and bolts. This is neat. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Pipes? Something? It's very neat, though. Oh, look at those. I know, Colleen. They're so fun. Rulers. Uh, pegboard. <coughs> I believe there's a die. There's pegboard as well in this coordinating bundle. Isn't that so funny? And then I got two packs of this paper because it's gorgeous. You're going to want it. Jill, look away. Light and airy. Light and airy. And it is very airy, ethereal looking. And it has these beautiful little fat birds on it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much I got two packs, right? Anne Marie, hi! We were talking about you earlier. I was showing off your cool present and happy belated birthday, my friend. I'm happy to tell you something's going to be coming your way. I was telling the ladies, I'm so glad you gave me an opportunity to send you something. Okay. So here we go with our little fat birds. They're kind of watercolored. Oh, look at that. And then some cool pattern on the back. Oh, so sweet. I can see this just being used uh, for a full card front with one of those beautiful sentiments on it the from the perennial postage. And maybe you can use your perennial postage dies to cut it out. I'm just saying. Better get your wish list ready. Better get ready to sign up for your starter kit. You want to be a part of the zoo crew. It's super fun. And, um, oh, by the way, did I mention I made pumpkin bread last night? Not that I'm trying to. Um, bribe you or anything, but I do make things from time to time. Now, this is beautiful. This is probably my favorite piece of paper in here until I see the rest of it. <laughs> yes, I, Cindy, actually, I she says it's not just for men's cards, ladies have tool pouches and toolboxes. I actually thought of my manager, she's a gal. And, but she's really handy and she loves to woodwork. And I thought, I'm going to make her, I'm going to get that bundle just to make her a woodworking kit. Uh, you know, a little card. Okay, this eh, might be my other favorite. I think I might like this one 
better than the last one. What do you think? The other one's softer. So, of course, I like the more vibrant one. Call me crazy. And then this beautiful, looks like fresh freesia. And all these little guys. Look, they're all matching. I wonder who watercolored this. One of our artisans did, to be sure. And it's fabulous. Seeing things like this always make me want to watercolor. And it almost makes me feel like I can watercolor, which means it's really good watercoloring because anybody that can make me think I could do it, it's good. <laughs> I'm going to stick to cards. And then finally, this all over vine and floral print. Wow. Beautiful. See why I got two? You can earn this for free beginning in January. Or as I said, if you want to sign up with Stamping Zoo in December, you can start earning it then with your discount. Did you realize that when demonstrators purchase things, we get um, we get a free item before our discount. So it's actually cheaper than $50 for us. Depends on the amount of discount you have. Okay, 20 or 25. But rest assured, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, that's my first pre-order. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I was just so happy to have you here for a little bit of mystery stamping. And um, now here's your homework. I want to see the cards that you made during mystery stamping. So please post them on your own pages, right? And then tag, hashtag, make a little hashtag mark, the stamping zoo. And then I will be able to see them. And um, I am going to rave about them. Believe me. And then also, don't forget the little carrot I'm holding out. I do give away something every week for sh for you being so kind and sharing this video. That if we get a minimum of 28 shares, which is easy peasy for you guys, I am going to be giving away. Where is it? Did I give it away already? There we go. I'm going to be giving away the Simply Sparkling stamp set that we just played with tonight. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. For joining me tonight and uh, if you're looking for me tomorrow remember i was on tonight okay so anyway thanks again and please look at my free with purchase offer that i mentioned earlier in the video and also if you are in the boise idaho area come and take a class with me go out to the stampingzoo.com and you can sign up right there okay everyone have a great night